in our last episode, we covered the creation of an Azure account in Khan, including the step required in Azure. However, there is still the issue of creating a blueprint to deploy Azure Virtual Machines using that account. Hi, I'm Jose. Today, we'll look at how to create and test our first Khan blueprint for Azure. Before we get started, please make sure you have an Azure account configuring Khan. If you don't have one yet, check out the link to our previous video. Let's break the process down into three simple steps. First, add the Azure account to a project. Second, create a single VM blueprint. Third, test the deployment. For the purpose of this demo, let's use the default project in Khan. In the default project, go to account and add the Azure account. Save the project and let's move on to creating the blueprint. In this step, we are going to create a single VM blueprint in three simple steps. Give it a name and select the default project. In step two, select the Azure account and the operating system. For this demonstration, we'll use Linux. In this last step, we configure the VM. The instance name must be unique across resource groups. Accepting the default ensures that that is the case or you can choose your own naming convention if you wish. To keep everything organized, we are going to create a resource group. Select the subscription and give it a name. Remember, this has to be unique too. Select a location to store the resource group metadata and optionally add any tags that you may want to use. Because we want to keep our Azure subscription free of orphan resources, select the box for deleting the resource group if it's empty. Next up, we select the location where virtual machines launch using this blueprint will be deployed to. Make sure the location you choose has a virtual network configured so that we can create a nick in the blueprint a little later. Choose the hardware profile for your virtual machine. Then let's go ahead and configure the credentials. In Azure, there is support for secrets with Azure Vault or you can use username and password. Or other option is SSH private key. For this demo, let's use admin credentials with username and password. Bear in mind, if you are going for this option, the password must meet the Azure password complexity requirement. Calm lets you upload your cloud in a script and customize them using Calm macros. Here is a simple example to set the hostname using the built-in macro name. This will expand the value for the instance name. If you decide to use CloudInit, make sure the image you choose has CloudInit installed. Let's do this in the next step with the storage profile. Calm lets you choose between three image sources, marketplace, private image from a subscription, or you can select from compute galleries. These were formerly known as shared image galleries. For the demo, we'll use the marketplace source and the publisher OpenLogic. The offer is going to be CentOS with the SKU 8.4 and the latest available version. You can change certain advanced details for the OS image if needed, as well as having the option to add data disk. The last thing we have to configure is the network profile. Add a nick and select a virtual network and subnet. If you would like to run some automation task after the virtual machine is provisioned, make sure your Azure virtual network or security group allows Khan to connect via SSH or WinRM on the public or private IP address. For this particular demo, we are not going to run additional automation after the VM is provisioned, so we don't have to worry about this right now. At this point, we can also choose whether to have a public IP address configured or not. If you wish to tag the virtual machine, feel free to add your tags at the bottom before saving the blueprint. Our blueprint is ready. Time to test it. Let's launch it. Give it a name and then simply click deploy. The deployment process takes about four to six minutes depending on the hardware instance you selected. Each of the stages of the deployment can be monitored in the audit tab. After a few minutes, our application is up and running. Voila! The virtual network I chose has a default security group with SSH allow attached to it. If that's also true in your case, you can grab the public IP from the overview tab and SSH right into it. I'm going to use the Azure Cloud Shell for this. If you remember, we configured CloudInit to set the hostname. 
here at the prompt we see the assigned hostname. If we want to confirm that this was set by cloud init, we can check the user data push into the instance. So that's it for today. In the next episode, we'll see how to perform day two operations like updating the virtual hardware for an Azure VM. Be sure to check out the description for links to more resources and like and subscribe to the channel for more videos about Nutanix Cloud. I'll see you in the next video.